Mexico. You're our third and eight at the gate, yeah. the Adirondack Mountain Reserve. No dogs allowed, no bicycles. Gonna head up the lake road. I'm not gonna do a selfie. I don't need to be in it. Okay. Here but I am here. <laughs> Love this gate. And here, here comes a jogger. I'll be on camera now. All right, look at this. Okay. She's, she's going to get there much faster than us, apparently. All right, here we go. So we're here at the Gilbrook Trail. Bird's taking a picture, and we're going to head right up to Colvin. And these guys are going to burn the trail over to Blake and back. And I'm going to meet them on Colvin since I've already been to Blake. So Bird and Nate, you are free to to take off and. Uh, hopefully I'll meet you at Colvin, but we'll see. So the Gilbrook's lovely, right here, and we're going to head up. We're on red blazes here, but you really don't see them very often. They're not necessary. We're just following the brook, and the path is pretty pronounced. Little arrow pointing down the bank. So there are some ups and downs and downs and ups. Here's a down, but nothing very major, just following the river. Some great water views all up and down this brook. It's wonderful. You can bypass this section on the road, but I really wanted to get the sun film. Nice being here too. Oh, side branch. Get to a fork in the trail, you can take the easy route or the scenic route. Since I'm filming, I think I'll take the scenic route. Easy route goes that way. Hmm, very scenic. start up the ledge right here, but we don't continue up through there. We go up the bank and up through there. And here are the signs at the other end. Easy route over the top. Scenic route recommended down by the waterfall that way. Scenic gorge down below us here. And we come to another split. Scenic or easy? Well, you know. I'd much rather be next to the river. Anyway, so here we are. Board goes down through there. Right below me. And out. So the trail appears to go around the edge right here and not up through the roots. I don't see any trail markers up there. That's what I'm going to do. Could probably get up the other way for sure. So we came around that corner, up the rocks, and right back onto the trail, and there are the signs at the other end. Very scenic and beautiful all the way up through. 
Another nice waterfall. Beautiful, clear water. Now we're well above the brook, 40 or 50 feet. So this looks like it might be a point to cross, but it's not. Just water coming over the slab. The trail just continues right up through here. And the trail continues, nice pine needle path through the woods. Next to the stream. Just past the upper approach from the road over to this trail. And now there's a cutoff going over to Indian Head. I'm heading up to Colvin, not up to Nipple Top, but up to Indian Head. That's a blue blaze, and I believe we're going to come down that way. So here we go to the left. So we've just come to the boundary for state land wilderness area. I'm not sure if it's the Dix Peak Wilderness, but I'll check on the map a little later. And heading up. Apparently a little impromptu campsite here. I take that back. It's an official campsite. There are a lot of root staircases on this trail. And that's fine by me. The tree was here first, so you go over the log. Another little path over to a camping area over here. So here is the trail continuing up to Colvin. Trail off to the right to the Fishhawk Cliffs. I'm going to take that on the way down. We've already come 4.2 miles. Got 1.8 left to go. And we got a little slab here, but natural staircase going up right through the middle. Better than going around. And the trail continues. We have a, an arranged rock staircase up through here. Very nice. So now we've reached a little bit of a level, gradual, but I think we have a steeper climb ahead of us here from the contour map. So there's a long, fairly level stretch here, and then we're going to need to start climbing that ridge to our right. Starting to go up the mountainside more steeply. Some more rocks. So here's a little clearing. This is where the trail branches. You can go left to Nipple Top and back around, back over Dial if you want to, or you can go right to Mount Colvin and Blake. And right is the way we're going today. Come right up through here, up along the ledge and back the other way. 
And right here you get to a little bit of a scramble, as you often do in the Adirondacks, up some slab ledge, so the camera's going in the backpack. So we're on top of Colvin. You can see the Great Range here. We've got Skylight and Haystack and Marcy, Basin, Saddleback, Gothics, Armstrong, Upper Wolf Jaw, Lower Wolf Jaw. Just a great day and a great view today. There's saw teeth and the lake is right below us. Can't see it from here, but I'll go to a point where we can. So here's the lower uh, Sable Lake. We're 2,100 feet above it right now. A lot of people enjoying the rocks down here, looking at the lake. One of the more spectacular places in the Adirondacks as far as I'm concerned. There's quite a cliff right here at the top. There's like a traffic jam here. Yeah, a lot of people here. And here's Nipple Top over here. Big slide on the front. Top of the mountain. Um, here's Giant Mountain. Go. There's Nate and Ferd after they've gone over to Blake. I didn't go over there. Fueling back up again for the Bologna, the ride back home. Onion. And, uh, <laughs> a fake baguette. Great fuel. Okay, so I'm down on a little bit lower rock right here, and here's where the really spectacular view is of the lake. 21 to 2200 feet above it. Really nice. And over here are the Fishhawk Cliffs and the Indian Head. I go over there now. Hey, quit talking and come down the slab. Okay. <laughs> I don't recommend the other one. It's really looks slimy to me. This one, this one here? No, no, yeah. The way you're going is good. As you're headed up, this is one of the first slabs. Did you see that pirouette? That I call that a dosy -si doe. Yeah, whatever it is. It's nice pirouette. It was it was uh, It was a turn, complete turn. Very delicate. Yes, executed professionally. That's right, without a flaw. My. Can you also do the turn around the tree, Nate? The, pir the pirouette? Of course you can. And step backwards. Reverse climb. There you go, yeah. There you go. He's already turned. He's already a pro. Super. We have an argument. He calls it a pirouette and I call it a do -si do <laughs> Looking up to Basin. And up to Saw Teeth. Here's the lower uh, Sable Lake. Yeah, you won't. Well, and you upper uh, Sable Lake. And here's the magnificent Mount Colvin that just rises right up out of the lake. Uh, lower uh, Sable Lake. Majestically towards the sky. Absolutely. Over 700 meters, or 2,200 feet, we say. A veritable cathedral. Well, let's not wax too poetic here. Uh, it's like what John Muir would have said, you know? Well, he was waxing all right. Yeah, and he was right about everything, too. So we're here on the Fishhawk Cliffs. Looking up at Colvin. Top of the mountain, way, way up. We estimate that we're probably, I feel like we're at least 500 feet above the lake. We see the boats down here. Very nice. A panoramic view from here. Looking up the lake. and beyond.
and saw teeth. And I don't know from this angle. I think that's Gothic's, but not sure. I think so. Yeah, should be. Because you can look right down from Gothic's and see the boathouse on the other end of the lake down here. And over through here. Again, not sure that may be the Indian head. But some nice cliffs and look off over there too. And this ridge coming down from Gothic's with the Armstrong. And upper wolf jaw, and then there's lower wolf jaw. And here are Ferd and Nate relaxing on the top of Fish Hawk Cliffs. So this is beautiful here. We can see some trees turning too. Just here and there. Right up to Colvin. I never walk with my face up to the camera. <laughs> so there's the lake one more time from the Indian Head. Fabulous view here. Upper Osable Lake in the distance. And clouds are coming over but it's still nice temperature, beautiful day.